Hey guys, this is David, and today I'm doing things a little differently. I'm going to shoot off the hip a little bit. I don't have a script. Um, there should be some gameplay of Nintendo footage. I know rare in this channel. Well, considering we were only open for a couple of days. But anyways, um, I'm going to talk about the SNES Classic Edition and the whole mayhem of that. Now, it's easy for me to say this because I'm going to say it off the bat. After like hours of trying, I ended, actually ended up getting one. It's going to be late, but... I'm gonna get one. So I got it from Target. Thank you, Target. That's Target, Bullseye. That's not their quote. So, a little background, and if you don't know, um, well, you should know, SNES Classic was released, I don't know, a year ago, and I thought to myself, okay, you know, I'm gonna end up getting one. I just gotta wait for it to sold out and wait for the restock. Um, the restock never happened. And I was like, whoa, this is, this is crazy. And it got to the point where um, some stores were bundling, bundling it up with other stuff, which I'll get to that in a minute. And it was so surprising that even Nintendo was caught off guard by it. And they promised when the SNES Classic would come, there will be more in stock. Right? And I know when Walmart prematurely did their pre-order, they stated that, that there will be more in stock and there will also be some in stores. So when the SNES Classic got announced, with 20 games, including the never before released Star Fox 2, I was like, I gotta have it. So, when the time come for pre orders, I set out every notification on demand Best Buy, Amazon, Target, uh, Circus City, Sears, Blockbuster Video, anywhere I could submit a, a pre notification for it, I did it. And weird things happened the day it was getting pre ordered. Uh, Amazon decided to do it at midnight unannounced. Which, okay, I'm okay with that. It happens. I don't know why I didn't get a notification for it, but it happens. And when Best Buy did it, they did it 5 o'clock Eastern Time, 2 a.m. Pacific Time. Hmm. Everyone's asleep during that time, but whoever got up, who were your security guards or work at night or just gaming all night, good for them. You, you deserve a round of applause. Um, but I wasn't that because I had to work the next day. And... I got an update from a Twitter, some tw someone in Twitter, I forgot who, that GameStop or employees were expecting a big announcement. And the announcement was, okay, 1 o'clock pre-order time. I sat on my little desk, I had computers open, Target, Walmart, whatever, had my phone right next to me, I had every chance to pre-order it. And I was getting ready to click that reload button in a heartbeat. So, 12, 1 o'clock came. Waiting, 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 just refreshing, refreshing, refreshing. Boom, there it is, Walmart. It has it right there. I'm clicking pre-order. It, it crashed. Okay, this sucks. I'll just reload it again. Sold out. I went to Target 15 minutes later. Boom, Target had some. I was going quickly. Credit card information, name, etc., etc. I had it in the basket. I was putting my card number down. I clicked checkout. It just crashed. I checked my email, nothing. And then next thing you know, it sold out. I'm confused, annoyed, and I just I just didn't get it. And I was looking at Twitter for what's going on, and everyone was having the same situation. I mean, Nintendo has this reputation of always, I guess, short-stocking, if that's a term, their product. But this was on another level. Like, how in the hell is Walmart out in 30 seconds, and Target is just, it's just gone? And then, it comes to GameStop. GameStop... It's up. Here we go. GameStop time. Then eventually, um, the site crashes, and all of a sudden, you hit, and you have to get it on your app. For whatever reason, you need the GameStop app. Okay, like, here we go. Here, you buy it through here. Okay, you go on the app. It directs you to the store website, and it's gone. It's, it crashes. What's the point of the app if the store website it doesn't work? So, um, eventually, that sells out as well. Toys R Us. The smartest of them all say, hey, look, there's no pre-orders. You want one? Come to the store, which you're the man, Jeffrey. I get that. I like that. I appreciate that. It's inconvenient for a lot of people, but I get that. Um, and then you have websites like ThinkGeek, which oddly enough is for GameStop, takes advantage of the consumer. It's like, hey, you want a Super Nintendo? Well, here's a Mega Man helmet for you for an extra $60. They were just almost punishing, mocking the consumer of, hey, you want something, you, you can you, well, you can have it, but you need to buy this with it, which costs them extra money, which is a weird, weird way of treating your fan base. Then finally in Target, um, 
got released some more like around five o'clock eastern my time and for whatever reason i don't know how i wasn't able to get some i got some and i say some because i got one for my brother my sister and myself so we can enjoy it all together in our separate houses whenever we see each other and you know as a nintendo fan it's super frustrating that here's something that's supposed to be a great joy for everyone should be uh, reliving memories and it botched it so bad and everyone has an issue with it and you can't blame anyone and right now your only chance as of august 28th as of this recording the only chance you can get one is you go on ebay and spend 300 dollars on them which is insane and if you go to polygon.com they ran an article of how someone will have these bots that cost like a hundred something dollars and they i don't know how they work i don't know the the idea of it but basically you see sites or pages where best buy consumer or amazon is buying like 30 of them and it's inconvenient for consumers who really want it where some of these people are, or these bots quote unquote are just getting them and then putting them online for whoever they want now there's so many faults um along the lines here it's hard to blame the consumer on this but i'm going to get to it a little bit which i'm going to try to think rationally and i hope people don't think that way but i'm going to do it the best way i can uh first things first the uh, nintendo and the stores ha have a big blame for it because you never have this problem with microsoft nor do you have this problem with sony the thing is with microsoft and sony yeah they'll sell out but they don't sell out within at least hours all right they're they make sure that Amazon or any of these stores have enough to sell for their consumer. All right. And it's frustrating that Nintendo, that's their MO for all these years. You know, they don't do that. They just don't do it. I don't know what it is. They just don't like it. I guess they don't like money in a way. Now, I love Nintendo. I'm a big Nintendo guy. This is not a knock. I know this is a knock on Nintendo, but I love Nintendo. But that's their only flaw is they just don't know how to... They don't know how to, uh, to reach the consumer with their product as much. That's why the Switch is still sold out everywhere. People want the Switch. I got lucky with the Switch. I But it was a lot harder for me to get the Super Nintendo than the Switch. The, the Super Nintendo should not have been very stressful to get. Um, you also have these companies like Amazon, uh, Best Buy, Target to an extent because they actually, people were able to get some from Target. Um, that don't put limits to their to the to the SNES Classic. There should be one per customer. I know they're doing that now with recent reports of people getting emails from Amazon freaking out because they're saying, "Hey, we lost your delivery, but you're still going to get it." Now they're implementing a little bit, but now it's a little too little too late. You should know that with the, this console was huge in the S for the for the NES Classic. You sh they should have known that you have to have one per limit. But you know, it was a bad fault on their end. I guess they're looking at it, hey, as long as we sell out, as long as we have the money for it, we got it. Because it doesn't matter. After all, it is a business anyway. And then you have um, the people who are selling it on eBay. Now, this is where I'm a little split, and I'll tell you why. Because I'm all for anyone trying to make a dollar in this country, all right? Legally, of course. Um, so, if the guy bought his SNES and wants to put it up on eBay for $250, we may not like it, I don't like it, but that's his right. All right, He may be a dirtbag, but that's his right. And if he ends up selling it, more power to him. But at the same time, as the consumer, um, if you have an issue with it, um, the easy thing to do is not buy it. Now I get that some of you guys may want it for yourself, or maybe for someone for Christmas or their birthday. I get that. But the easy thing to do is to not buy it, as stressful as it is, because you're going to end up hurting the person who sells it. The same person who spends um, spends like $2,000 for it, is buying 30 of these things. It's going to hurt his wallet more than you hurting yours for spending it, um, $300 for it. So that's a case in, it, in itself. You may not like it. But that's the case in itself. So I see both sides. Oh, Dave, you're not picking your side. Look, I'm not liking the $300 for an SNES. But the guy's making money of it. You're going to stop him? I mean, if you had the same opportunity to make 
um, to double your profit in any way or form, you're gonna do it. Remember, the product is worth what is what someone is willing to pay for. I got mine at eighty dollars. To me, it's worth eighty dollars plus tax. To someone else, it's gonna be worth three hundred. And, and if someone's willing to spend that three hundred dollars in the SNES, that's by all means. You know, you may not like that, but that's the truth. Um, and now there's, we don't know when there's gonna, there's more that's gonna come up. I read a tweet somewhere um, that's saying that Best Buy may have some within the next 10 days. I don't know how true it is. As of August 28th, 6.38 p.m. Eastern time. So try to look out for that. But, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a cruddy situation. It really is. As someone who loves Nintendo, as I stated, it sucks that this had to happen. But, you know, unfortunately it is what it is. I got lucky, and I know some friends out there that I know and uh, care about that are trying to get it, and they can't. You know, it's a, it's a big bummer. It's a, you know, the, the water balloon popped and there's water everywhere. That was a horrible analogy, but I had to drink, I had to think on the spot. And drink on the spot. I don't, I don't drink. Don't drink poison pills. Unless you're over 21. So, um, that's about it, guys. Uh, leave a comment below what you think. Am I wrong? Am I a jerk? Do I not know what I'm talking about? Probably. I mean, I am an old part anyways. So, just leave a comment below. If you like what we've seen here, you can subscribe. Uh, this is Dave for watching my 12, and I'm glad I was able to watch 6. That would have been a better way to end it if I said watch your 6. Let's, you know.